So guys, before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that I have made around 100 plus videos on the Oracle SQL. And if you want to learn the Oracle SQL in the detail, then please don't forget to check out the description box in that I have given the link of the same. Okay, one more thing I would like to tell that I have made the separate separate videos on the factor design pattern and the singleton design pattern. And if you don't know factor design pattern and singleton design pattern, then don't forget to check out that too. So guys, let's begin with the today's session. So in this session, I do not have any theory to discuss and it's more of practical. So I will directly jump on to the practical in that you will see how you can mix the singleton design pattern and the factor design pattern. So let's begin. So guys, let's see the practical example of the singleton plus factor design pattern. How you can mix both the design pattern. Okay. So over here, first we will understand our program in the form of diagram and then later on we will jump on to the code okay so let's begin with the our code and uh, let's try to understand what the program we are going to make in the our code okay so what i will do i will create one first interface okay in that interface i will create one pure virtual function which is nothing but your db connect okay which will be the is equal to zero which means that it is a pure virtual function okay from this uh, interface, these are the implemented classes, the database one and the database two class. Okay, and this class is singleton class. Why? Because over here you can see I have made the copy constructor, uh, constructor and the overload operator as a private. Okay, and over here uh, also I have done same kind of thing constructor as a private copy constructor is a private overloaded the assignment operator as a private okay now in the public section i have created or i have written two functions which is nothing but your db connect uh, which has to be because it is in the interface and uh, over here i have created one get instance uh, db2 function and also similar kind of thing i have done over here in the uh, this class a database two class okay so this is my uh, uh, singleton classes and this is my interface now this singleton classes objects are creating in the factory over here i have one function called as a create function and this function is static which we have understood in the our last session uh, whenever you create any factory design pattern program then you have to make this function as a static and why we have understood in our last video please refer my last video if you haven't understood and if you haven't seen my last video in that i have explained the factory design pattern then only then you can understand this program otherwise there is no point to watch this video okay so this is my factory design pattern or i can say that this is my factory class which will return the object of uh, database 1 database 2 okay and this is my main function over here i am calling the this create function which will return over here object of this one or this one based upon the input okay and once i have over here object of uh, this one or this one then i can call the db connect and db connect whatever oh, function i want to call from this classes i can call it okay not only the functions i can call any members okay so this is my uh, program and this is how I am going to make the program. I hope you have understood. Let me summarize very quickly. I will create one interface in that I will have one pure virtual function with this name. I will create two singleton class database one database two. Okay. Inside that I will have uh, db connect and get instance uh, function and uh, over here also I have similar kind of setup. Over here, I will have constructor, copy constructor and overloaded uh, assignment operator. Similar kind of setup I will have over here in database 2 class. Okay. Now, over here, this get instance function will help us to give or return the object of this class only. Why this required? Because 
these are the constructors are private so that's the reason i have created over here get instance function as a private which will return the object of itself okay and this is the property of the singleton class and again you have didn't understand then please watch my uh, singleton design pattern video in that i have clearly mentioned what exactly the singleton design pattern is now let's go for the practical session in that you will see exact code okay so let's go for the practical session so for that i need to log in the my unix terminal over here so let me log in so guys let's begin with the our practical example in that i will explain you program so you can see over here i have created already one program with this uh, name you can see over here with this name okay so let's understand what exactly i have created and how you can mix the singleton plus factory design pattern okay so over here what i have done as earlier just like i have created one enum okay uh, with the name of data uh, database type and inside that i have element database 1 database 2 database 3 a number of element you can have in the enum okay after that i have created the virtual function and i have created the interface inside that i have one pure virtual function okay and from this interface uh, you can see over here database one uh, database one class is derived and since it is derived from over here so i have to implement this one as well so that we will see in a moment okay now over here i have declared these two variables as a static after that what i have done i have created one private constructor private copy constructor and the assignment operator as a private okay i have overloaded over here private so these are the things you have to take care in order to create the singleton class now after that what i have done since this my constructor you can see over here let me go up a little bit uh, since my constructor is private so what i need to do i need to create or i need to make a one function which will create the object of this class itself because i cannot create the object of this class outside of this class so what i need to do i need to over here i need to create or i need to make a get instance function which will create the object of itself and whoever wants to call the or whoever who want to create the object of this singleton class then what it will do it will call this function rather than directly creating the uh, object of this class okay so this is the property of the singleton okay so over here you can see i have created one object uh, of the singleton class database one okay and over here i have made one check if it is not exist then only then create otherwise don't create okay uh, after that otherwise return over here existing object now as i told you i have implemented the db connect which will connect the database over here you can mention any logic to connect the database okay so over here this i represent that okay how many times the database uh, database is connected okay so I will come on this uh, uh, this logic okay I, this will prove that uh, whether the uh, both the pointer are working on the same uh, object or not so let, uh, let let me come back okay let me come back I will come back on this okay again after that I have created the uh, destructor and I set this indicator as a false okay it doesn't matter if you want to set then you can set otherwise don't worry and this destructor can be private or public doesn't matter okay in singleton so all together let me summarize over here what i have done this is the class i have created okay the database one and this is the uh, singleton class okay and what are the criteria of singleton class these are the criteria of the singleton class the constructor has to be private copy constructor has to be private and the overloaded operator as a private okay now over here uh, since uh, my constructor is private so nobody can create object of this class so uh, what i need to do i need to create or i need to write a one function which will return the object of itself so this is the function required in order to make the uh, class as a singleton okay after that this is the function and uh, over here i have just initialized 
a similar kind of functionality I have implemented in the database 2 class okay over here also I have made this uh, pointers and the variable as a static and again I made the copy constructor and constructor and assignment operator as a private okay again I have created one static get instance db2 function which will return the object of itself means the database 2 class object it will return okay if it is already exist then it will return the existing object rather than uh, creating new why because I have made this check over here it's a similar similar kind of setup guys yeah just like the over here you can see in the um, over here the, in the first class whatever the uh, logic I have implemented same logic I have implemented over here with different name okay now since we have over here now so far we have understood here here and here okay we have created this one this one now we have to uh, return the object of this one or this one based upon the input so what I need to do I need to create the factory class as you can see over here so what it will do it will return the object of this one or this one so let me go back over here so what I have done over here I have created one factory class okay and over here public everything so over here what I need to do I need to create a one create function which will return the object of the uh, database 1 or database 2 based upon the input you can see over here it is getting one input and based upon the input you can see over here what it will do it will create the object of any particular class in our case over here since it is uh, comparing the database one so what it will do it will over here you can see get instance is get called and this pointer is pointing to the this one and this is will get written by this function and wherever this function will be get called the object will be available there okay of this class if it is passing the database 2 then what it will do it will come over here and it will return the object of database 2 class rather than the database 1 you can see over here okay guys so this is same uh, functionality as the normal factory okay so over here based upon the input let me summarize over here uh, based upon the input this function will return the object of uh, either this class or this class okay guys so based upon the input it will return the object of particular class now let me go back over here in the calling function which is nothing but your you can see over here this is our main function uh, or client code you can say so what I have done over here uh, over here database one interface type of pointer I have created over here you can see these are the two pointer I have created okay now what I have done over here factory colon colon create database one so as soon as I will write over here this line so what it will do it will go to the control over here this over here it will go to the over here now this input is database one so it will compare this is condition is true so what it will do it will return the get instance uh, function or it will execute this line so if this is line is get execute means which function will be get executed and from which class you can see over here you can see over here from the database one class this function will get executed okay so you can see over here uh, so what it will do from the database one database one this class it will go to the this function and since it's a very first time so what it will do it will go inside this condition and and it will over here create the object of itself and it will return you can see over here it will return the uh, object of that class only so over here can I say that over here let me come back over here over here can I say that if this line is executed then this pointer is pointing to the object of database one class okay so over here what I am doing I am returning the object of database one class object okay so over here so now over here you can see now over here I can say that 
if this line execute then this pointer is pointing to the database one object okay since this pointer is pointing to the object of database one class then what i can do i can call the db connect function okay now similar kind of thing i have done over here also now over here you need to take care one thing over here it will return same object whatever it has created over here okay now how you can say that let me prove over here if this pointer is pointing to the same object and this pointer is also pointing to the same object okay if both the pointer this one and this one is pointing to the same object then the value of the i over here you can see a value of the i over here in the database one class will get increment first time it will be one and in the second time it will be get incremented with two if if both the pointer over here you can see if both the pointer will pointing to this different different object then value of i won't increase okay you can try it out your home uh, creating different different object and you will get the same uh, value okay if both the pointer is pointing to the same object then what it will do it will uh, increment the value of i and this is the property and this is what we want from the singleton class okay what we want everybody should work on the same object rather than different different object and this is nothing but your singleton class or singleton design pattern okay so this is what i have done over here now similar kind of thing i have done over here but i have just passed over here input as a database 2 okay same kind of thing i have done over here and over here also will happen same thing as over here but it will work on the database 2 two object rather than the database one object okay guys so this is the thing you have to take care and this is what the uh, singleton plus factory design pattern okay so let me quickly go back to the my terminal and let me compile over here so over here it got compiled now let me clear over here first so what i will do i will execute the whatever the executable created you can see over here this is the executable created okay let me clear over here so over here what i will do you can see over here value is getting incremented one plus one which is nothing but here one over here and it is two it shows that both the pointer pointer one and ptr is pointing to the same object now over here what i have done in the second call in the second call i have passed the point uh, input as a database 2 which uh, leads to working on the different object which is nothing but your database 2 object you can see over here it is database 2 object and over here also it has done similar kind of thing whatever over here why because database 1 database 1 over here and database 2 uh, classes are singleton classes that is the reason this value and this value is 1 and 2 it is getting incremented because both the pointer is pointing to the same object and it is calling the uh, db connect uh, method uh, multiple times so in next video we will see the facade design pattern and we will mix factory plus singleton plus facade design pattern or some other design pattern okay guys so guys i hope you have understood how you can mix the factory design pattern and the singleton design pattern and if this video helps you in any ways then please don't forget to share this video in any of the social media platform and don't forget to subscribe this channel for the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care